All right, we're learning about Metzia. We're up to the sixth Mishnah in the sixth parak. If you take a look at the handout on the Bima, you could find it on page 133 at the top. Any uh, artisans, somebody who takes your thing to work on it. Uh, so, you know, you're a dry cleaner or uh, your silversmith or whoever takes your stuff to do something with it. So they became, they become technically paid watchers. They're being paid to work, to fix your thing. They're also, uh, they're all different types of shomrin, all different types of uh, watchers, according to halacha. A shomer sachar, one who's hired, is responsible if your thing gets stolen or if he loses it. V'kulon sha'amru tol a shalach v'havei ma'os shomer chino. However, in regards to all these artisans, they have your thing. If they say to you, Come take your thing, and then bring the money afterwards. Then they're considered to be a shomer chinam, and then they become a unpaid watcher who's not responsible for theft or for for loss, because basically at this point they're saying it's yours. Take it. I don't want it anymore. If they say, hey, bring the money first, and then take your thing, well, that then that's different because then they're saying, no, I'm holding on to it until you bring your money, and therefore they're still considered to be a quote unquote paid watcher. But if they're saying you can take it and you can owe me the money, then they're basically saying, you know, it's yours, come get it. I'm not responsible for it anymore. Shmor levi shmor lach. Now, if somebody says, I want you to watch my thing, and I'll watch your thing. Shomer sachar. Both of them are considered to be paid watchers because they are, the, the, the deal is, they're, they're, you know, trading off with each other in regards to uh, payment of watching. The watching is the payment here. But that's uh, considered to be a paid watcher as well. This person says, Shemor li, v'omer lo hanach lefonai shomer chinim. If somebody says, hey, watch this for me, and the guy says, all right, put it down in front of me, so then he's, he's not a paid watcher. He's saying, I'll do it for free, but he's a shomer chinim. A shomer chinim is uh, uh, an unpaid watcher, is still responsible for, uh, you know, if something happens to his poshea, if he does something that's, uh, you know, negligent, He's still responsible for it. However, if he just says, you know, leave it in front of yourself, or you just leave it, not leave it in front of me, the Gemara says, then he hasn't even taken on the responsibility of an, of an unpaid watcher.